Travel often seems like this idyllic, wonderful thing. And it can be. But that's not always the whole reality of it. Behind the postcard perfect Instagram posts and travel vlogs, there's a side of travel that's often overlooked. The side of travel where things can go wrong. Which is not ideal. So what do we do now? What do we do now? Uh... I don't know if I want to do this. This is a video that shows what it's like when things do not exactly go according to plan. Exploring the real, raw and beautiful chaos that is Cork. India. Yeah, today's not really, really our day, is it? <laughs> no, not at all. Okay, so we are currently waiting for the Uti toy train. And this is quite a famous train ride because it's supposed to be very scenic. The train will take us all the way from Metupalayam to Uti. It is not a very big distance, but it will still take around four hours. Turns out it is a very slow train. Yeah, it's one of the steam, like choop choop once. Apparently the train books out like weeks and weeks in advance. Of course, we did not know that. But we got told there's also a way to get unreserved tickets. Um, if you just show up very early to the train station and you just wait here basically in line, um, there are a couple of tickets that they just give away. Right, so that's what we're doing. It's, uh, it's a couple hours waiting. Let's just hope it, um, it's worth it. After about two and a half hours of waiting, we got our seats. Well, we're about to leave. We um, don't have that much space, as you can see. We're going! We're going! The views were beautiful. Think green valleys, cool old bridges, and almost cave-like tunnels. It was like everything came straight out of Hogwarts. We stopped at several stations along the way, so we could walk around and soak in all the beauty. Light in my pack. It was all going great until The rest of the train journey, every ounce of effort went into not throwing up. So unfortunately, it wasn't exactly the train ride I was hoping it would be. After taking a few days to recover in Uti, we traveled to Cork, or Marikeri, ready to explore all that this place has to offer. We thought it would be fun to go visit some sites around here today. But of course, um, we're not just gonna visit some sites. We, we need that extra element of challenge, you know? So we thought it would be fun to try out whether hitchhiking here is possible. We, uh, we hitchhiked a lot in Pakistan. Over there it was super easy. Everyone was so friendly and they stopped basically after like five minutes of waiting. So I am very curious to see what it's gonna be like to do it over here in India. I have no idea whether, uh, whether it's even gonna be possible or not. Um, but we do plan to hitchhike a lot over the coming months and I think it's always kind of an interesting way to get to know a country, get to know the people 
And so, yeah, we're gonna try it out. So we decided to, uh, to start easy and try to hitchhike to a place called Abbey Falls, which is a waterfall place that is apparently very popular around here. And it's only like a 15 minute ride, like I think like four kilometers or something. So easy start. Yeah, well, I mean, should we just stand here? Or maybe there? Yeah, a little bit more space. Yeah. Safety first. Right? <laughs> okay, so we're here. This is uh, the chosen chosen spot. Currently, not a lot of traffic and lots of scooters, um, which is not ideal. Okay, so we're gonna set a timer to see just how long how long it takes. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. How long do you think it's gonna take? 15 minutes. 15? Yeah, 15. It's been a while since I hitchhiked. I actually practiced my super friendly, like, innocent. Like, <laughs> the less homeless teenager I look, the, the better. better. Yeah, I think we're gonna have like two main problems. One of them being job before, paid vehicles, and the second one being just not enough cars. After turning down a couple tuk tuk drivers, Accidentally waving down another possibly paid vehicle and another handful of failed attempts. Red car, tiny car incoming. No, 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 yes. It's small though. It's small, it's full. Are we gonna try it? No. 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 <laughs> Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? No, 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 yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. We're trying to uh, hitchhike to uh, Abbey Falls direction, halfway. halfway. Can we go? Halfway? Can we go? Yeah. Oh, oh that would be so nice. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Good morning, man. Nice. You work as doctors, you said? Yeah. Actually, we are in the medical teaching profession. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. oh there. There. Yeah. That is a medical college. Almost 10 years we are here. Oh, oh. really? It's a very nice place. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so Thank much you. for Thank bringing you. us. We really so appreciate it. it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Okay, so that went very, very well. They actually brought us, like, they were so kind. They brought us all the way to the entry point of Abbey Falls, even though they weren't going here, like, they were on their way to work, I think, right? Kind, kind people. Okay, it doesn't seem very busy. Like, I see no other people at all. I mentally prepared myself for like a lot of people because it is one of the most touristy places in in Korg. But maybe it's like the time of day or the season, I don't know, but it's it's empty. I, I mean I'm not complaining. I like it. Yay! Yeah. Waterfalls! Thanks. Good morning. How was the waterfall? So good. Nice. So yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. I hear the water. I see the water. Danger spot. No shit, Shirley. I wouldn't cross that one. So we're heading back now and I love the fact that it's so quiet but it might not be ideal for finding a hitch back to Marike. I'm so hungry. Me too. I think it might be because we just had ice cream for dinner last night. Well, I don't see the problem. <laughs> we're adults, we can do whatever we want to do. You're going the wrong way. Huh. Okay, so the plan is to head back to Rondikeri now, have some breakfast because we haven't eaten yet. Okay, let's see. Not a lot of cars in the parking lot. Okay, so we're just gonna start walking up the road. Every car that's gonna pass basically has to go through that road anyway, so... It's a little bit uphill though. Yeah, I guess worst case we have to uh, walk the entire way back. 
Well, someone has to have to go back eventually. Yeah. Keep being positive. Manifest. Manifest the shit out of it. Luckily, after about 20 minutes of walking, a car drove by. Hello, we're going to Marikei. Yes. Can we go with you? Oh, really thank you very much. Amazing. That's thank so nice of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's very, very kind. Oh, oh very nice. We don't have to walk. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hot outside. Yeah. Made it! Made it. That wasn't too difficult. No. Honestly, I expected it to be. I was hard to do lucky though. Well, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out later. And try onion. Yeah. Try something new. Yeah. Still haven't learned how to eat it properly. Mm, that's really good. I don't think it is. Okay, so since the first hitchhike to Abbey Falls went so well, we decided to uh, up the challenge a little bit and now we're gonna try to hitchhike to a place called Somewhere Pet and then from there, close in that area, there's some sort of lake that is supposed to be nice and I think some sort of cave thing. It's, uh, it's a bit further, it's like a, an hour drive from here, a little bit over an hour definitely gonna be a bit more challenging, a bit more difficult to get it right, I think. But um, I guess we'll just see how far we get. Bellies full and confident from our earlier win, we again went back to the main road. We soon realized, however, that our chosen spot wasn't ideal, as cars didn't really have a place to stop, leading us on a chase down the road, in hope to find something better. Okay, so at least if we're not going to get a ride here, it's not because of the lack of traffic, because there's quite a lot of cars. They just, uh, they're just not interested, which is fine. It's fine. After about half an hour of waiting, we finally managed to get the attention of someone. Going towards uh, Sombar Pet. Sombar Pet. Is it it's on the way? The same. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That would be Perfect. amazing. Thank you. Thank so you much. so much. Thank you. We really appreciate it. <laughs> we soon realized, however, tracking the ride on our phone, that we weren't exactly going in the right direction. Well, uh, we just made a side step <laughs> instead of. Uh, yeah. So. We are currently not in a place where we thought we would end up in. Like it's a little bit out of out of route. So what's this place called that we're in now? I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, Kushal Nagar. So we're in Kushal Nagar, which is basically way more like we, we wanted to head to some 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 more pet, some more pet, which is like more like north. And so he took us kind of like east. Yeah, and as you can see, we're in the middle of the center right now. So I don't think this is the best place to hitchhike from. Not at all. What are we going to do? Stuff. The problem is, so we just checked the map. There are like no main roads to get from here to uh, to Sombarpet. So it's going to be a very difficult place to hitchhike from. Yeah, that did not go exactly according. According to plan. Did she hitchhiking for you? The thing is, if we try and we end up somewhere far away from any bus station, like at least we know there's a bus station here so we can get back safely to Marikeri. Like if we're somewhere in the middle of nowhere and there are no buses and it gets dark, we have a problem. Oh. So, can we find a bus back? It feels like giving up. I think keep going. Let's do it. Okay, so we decided to not give up and keep trying. So um, we looked at the map. We're first gonna try to hitch a ride to Sangram. And from there, there should be a relatively main road up to somewhere bed. So uh, yeah, let's just, let's just see how far we get. Yes, uh, we try. So 
far, no luck, lots of tuk-tuks, lots of fast driving cars, but no one uh, seems to be seems to be even close to stopping. I think this is gonna be hard. And I think we're gonna have a lot of ice on us. I don't know if I want to do this. Well, you can take the bus. Like. After some thoughtful consideration, we decided to admit defeat. The thing about hitchhiking is, I believe it is possible pretty much anywhere, as long as you have time and patience. Well, I guess we found the bus yep, too. Yep. Okay. I bet we could have succeeded if we would have just stood there long enough. But sometimes time isn't on your side, so unfortunately today we had to abort the mission. Not letting our earlier setbacks get to us, the next day we set out on another adventure. We decided to hike up Tadiandamo Peak, but it seemed the universe wasn't done testing us. What was supposed to be a simple bus ride turned into a three hour long journey full of stops and bus transfers at the most random places around Cork. Do we pass Kakada? Kakada? Yeah. Where, where are we changing? But after the bus, another tuk-tuk ride and half an hour walk, we finally made it to the starting point of the trek. It took us a while. <laughs> so we have a bit of a problem now because it is already very late. It is 12.18 now, which is already not an ideal time to start a trek. Ideally, you would want to start early in the morning just to avoid the heat. But the biggest problem is that this trek should take about six hours, but the last bus to Marikeri leaves at five. However, it turns out those were good problems to have and things were about to get worse. Okay, so we almost reached the entrance. This way to trek? No, 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 it's closed. It's closed? Yeah. Closed? Yeah. Why? Why? Fire. Fire? Fire time. And we can't go at all? No. You just need point. Oh, I just need point. <laughs> okay, so we are currently at the starting point of the trek. And the guy just told us that it's closed. That should have been where we were gonna go. Yeah, today's not really, really our day, is it? <laughs> no, not at all. It took us like so long to get here even, like only to find out that we can't even hike. I mean, the viewpoint is still pretty nice, but I would have loved to uh, to do some hiking. So apparently it is close due to the risk of wildfires. Apparently every hike in this province, Karnataka, is, is closed right now. No hike for us. Back in Marikeri, we decided to find the one thing that we knew would make us feel better. A good cup of coffee. As a coffee lover, I find that coffee truly never fails to make you feel good. Especially not in a place like Cork, that is actually famous for its coffee. All in all, this Cork trip wasn't exactly a smooth experience. From the train journey, to the hitchhiking mishaps, to the hike that never happened, everything seemed to not exactly go according to plan. But I guess travel isn't always about ticking things off a list. It's about rolling with the punches and finding joy in the moments that do go well. I find there's always something positive to be found in every situation like meeting new people who show you kindness or learning a lesson in thinking on your feet keep being positive or simply creating travel stories that will make you laugh for years to come what else could you want <laughs>